So it's another late night vlog, and I'm at the kennel. <laughs> it's about 10 till, what time is it? Uh, almost 10 till, it was a little bit past 10 till one. And I am packed. Alex is in bed, and I have everything ready. So I was like, okay, I still have to vlog. So Tani wants me to give PP his medicine. So um, I was with her, I took her to go get a fountain coke. So I was like, okay, well, she's got a bunch of stuff to do over here. So I was like, well, I'm just gonna sit here and vlog. She's like, well, it's gonna be like an hour. I was like, okay. Pee-pee! Pee-pee! Come on, Mike. 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 Come on, and she's like, you never sleep before the night before. I cannot sleep, you guys, the night before I go on a trip because I'm always afraid like I'm gonna oversleep and miss my flight. Um, so I don't typically, um, I don't typically. Come on, bud. Yeah, look who's, there's PB. Here's PB. Hold on. Come here, sweetie. Did you hear on the floor? He loves to run around here. Tanya puts him in her office. Come here. Come here, sweetie. <laughs> oh, honey, did you miss me? Mm. Are you having so much fun? Did you miss me? Give me a kiss. How's my best friend? Are you having so much fun? He said, well, I'm having lots of fun, but I'm ready to go home, too. <laughs> you are? He said, Aunt Tanya lets me sleep in the office. She has a big bed in there. She has a big bed by the fireplace, doesn't she? He said, yeah, she has a big bed. It's pretty comfy and I like it a whole lot, Dad. We're gonna give your medicine in a second. Aw. He smells like our house. What do you, you wanna run around and look around and see things? <laughs> you wanna run around and look and see stuff? <gasps> okay. You wanna come back up here? Okay, he, he said, I wanna come back up there. Okay. So anyway, um, <laughs> he's so cute. I love this guy, he's my best friend in the whole world. You're my best friend, aren't you? Oh yeah. My best friend in the whole wide world. So, um, I have a really hard time sleeping the night before um, we go on a trip and um, I'm just real nervous about this trip. I don't know why, I've got everything planned out and everything is gonna be real cool and I got a, um, like, two fun collabs I'm excited about doing and then, oh, well, another thing that happened was, so my friend that I've talked about on here that lives in LA, um, she's been in some movies and some TV shows and stuff and so I called her today and I was like, uh, I go, girl, we're coming into LA and I haven't seen her, it's been like years. Well, probably, I don't know, last time she was here was at, like at a Christmas time because her family still lives here. It's probably been like five years. And um, she was like, you're coming to, when are you coming to LA? And I said, we're coming to LA tomorrow morning. And I was like, I want to get together. And she was like, oh my God, yes. And she was like, where are you staying? She was like, oh my God, I'm so excited, and blah, blah, blah. And she was like, I live real close to where you guys are gonna be. And I was like, okay. And um, she was like, let's get together. Let's go have lunch or dinner. And I was like, okay, well, here I go. Why don't we um, get together? I said, would you do a video with me? <laughs> and she was like, yeah, I'll do a video with you. She's like, what would it be about? She goes, you can't be telling all these old stories about it. I said, you can tell old stories about me. I don't really care. So, um, your paws are so warm, PP. Hmm? Say Chi Chi's shake. That's what they do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you miss watching uh, Nick and Poncho videos. Poncino. Nick and Poncino. Poncino. Donkino. So here, you wanna sit on my lap. There you go, sweetheart. Sit on my lap, okay. Good boy. Um, so we're getting together, she knows Alex too. So we're gonna get together and then she and I are gonna film a video and um, then I'm gonna take her out to dinner. So I'm really excited about that because I haven't seen her in a long time and I've never been out to visit her in LA or anything like that and um, so I think some people might know her because she's been on like some TV shows and stuff so um, that'll be fun, and um, 
she's somebody that I actually met when I was like using back in the, I met her at a rave. <laughs> way back in the day when I was like 18 or 19. And then she and I became friends after I got sober. And so our like friendship was always like when I was sober. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Okay, PP jumped down and I had to go chase after him. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. My celebrity friend, I'm going to see my celebrity friend. I mean, she's not like, I said that to her today. I said, girl, you're a celebrity. She's like, I'm not a celebrity, but anyway. So, uh, I mean, when you're from Indiana, <laughs> you know, anybody that's a little bit famous is kind of famous, so I'm excited about that. Um, I was talking to Mel today. Um, I have to tell you, like, one of the things that is, like, the most fun, this, this True cl Crime Book Club has become so much fun. Mel and I talk all the time. And um, so Mel is getting married this week, so congratulations, Mel! But anyway, um, I'm so excited for her. So everybody say congratulations, Mel, in the comment section below. And um, it can, if you can find the little bride and groom emoji, we should put that up there for her and her husband. But anyway, um, oh, you're such a good boy. So um, we were talking about, like I have so much fun talking about like what the next true crime book is gonna be that we're gonna read. Like I have so much fun talking about that. She and I were talking about, and so we came up with like five different, I said, here's the thing. She started throwing out some idea to me and I was like, she was like reading a synopsis and she got done and I was like, yeah, I'm not interested in reading that. What is it, sweetie? I said, yeah, I'm not real interested in reading that. And I said, if I'm not interested in reading it, <laughs> he's like looking at the camera, isn't that so cute? Um, I said, nobody else is either. And she said, yeah, she goes, since we started reading um, In Cold Blood, the thread has been really quiet. And I said, mm-hmm. I said, you know, we read it because we wanted to make, be committed to like the book that we said that we were gonna read. I said, um, but I know that people aren't super interested in In Cold Blood, but the thing is, is that, whether people are interested in it or not, I mean, we can all say that we've read the very first nonfiction book, the very first of its kind true crime, because it was like, that's what it's known for, for being like legit, like the first true crime book. Okay, I had to chase after him again, but he doesn't want to come up here now, he wants to run around, so. But anyway, so yeah, the um, In Cold Blood. I haven't started it yet, but I heard it was rather dry. I love this paper clip, I'm kind of addicted to it. Now you want to come back up here? Oh, I guess not. Hold on a second. I gotta get my water. Ooh. What is it? You wanna come back up here? You gotta have your medicine. What is it? What is it? What? Speak, baby, speak. Come here, come here. What do you want? Oh, he wants to go home. Come here. You're staying at the hotel. Come here, come here. Good boy, yes, good boy, good boy. Mm. Who's my best boy? Who's my best boy? Yeah. <laughs> Who's my best boy? Tanya said you just had your dinner and stuff not too long ago. Was it good? She said you ate it all up. She said you ate it all up. Yeah. You wanna come to LA with me? <laughs> do you know what that means? How much do you think that dogs understand about what we're talking about? I think quite a bit. I think quite a bit. Do you know what that means? Yeah, tell me a secret. <gasps> really? Oh my lord. Seriously? I could sit here and just do this all day long with the dogs. Do you guys know that? Like, I sit and just talk to the dogs. You guys are like, yeah, we know Peter. We watch your vlog every day. This vlog is not going to be super long either because... Yeah, who's getting a nail trim this week? And a bath. Who is it? <gasps> There's Aunt Tanya! You want to see Antonia? Go see Antonia. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> Just follows her around. Ugh. Can you believe she used to live here with all the dogs barking and stuff? So she comes over here, lets the dogs out, feeds the dogs. 
her husband comes over here with her every night and we'll do it together. Okay, you ready to come back up? Oh, all right, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. He said, I've had enough of that. I'm ready to be back over here. <laughs> you sure are giving all the kisses tonight. You're giving all the kisses. I was noticing today when I was bringing him over here how white his hair is on top. Like the old man, the distinguished old man. I don't know anybody else that has white hair. Pee Pee, do I look different from when you first met me? Do you remember? I had brown hair and I didn't have a beard. Yeah. Yes, sir. Don't say maybe. Oh, he said, I'm down now for the count. Go. Tanya said they have so much fun while they're doing this. What? Okay, hold on. I gotta get Pee Pee his mic. Hold on. Okay. PB's eating a little ex oh. a little late night dinner after his medicine. Did you see him? Did he eat it all up? Watch him. He loves Parmesan. <laughs> you will Italian. Tanya works hard for the money. So hard for you, honey. I used to love Donna Summer back in the day. And I used to roller skate to Donna Summer. My friend and I, I told this story. We used to roller skate in the basement. Did you ever roller skate back in the day? Yeah. You got a brand new pair of roller skates. Were you a good roller skate skater? Oh yeah, I danced. There's this movie, and it's the Ryan White story. If you guys don't know who Ryan White was, he was this kid that... He was uh, my neighbor. Ryan White was your neighbor? Yeah, Cicero. Really? Yeah, he's buried in Cicero. Well, Ryan White was this kid that was... Um, he got uh, AIDS because he was a hemophiliac and like from in the hospital. Like you can't get it. I don't think you can get it this way yeah, anymore, can you? No, because the blood wasn't tested. Yeah, but you can't, I don't think you can get it anymore. And um, that way. And so anyway, but, so he was friends with like Elton John and Michael Jackson and um, there were like all, who was he friends with? Like celebrity types. Uh, well, actually they, um, Elton John and Michael Jackson was number one, and we lived in a little small town. They were here for the funeral, right? Right. They Princess Diana, too. Somewhat. I mean, she talked to him, but she didn't come to the funeral. Oh, she didn't? No, because they drove by my house. But Michael Jackson bought him, because they wouldn't let him go to school. Yeah. They kicked him out of school, so they got him back in school, and then Michael Jackson bought him a piece of drive it. A red Mustang, brand new red Mustang, and he left like a gold glove in there. Kind of oh, cool. was he that? Was he old enough to drive a car? I can still see his mom in my head because she was on TV all the time. Dark hair, kind of curly, yeah. Um. So anyway, uh, what was I going to tell? Why was I telling that story? Oh, well, so on, there was a Lifetime movie about him called The Ryan White Story. And the opening scene is at that, do you remember that USA Skate? There used to be this place in Indianapolis and it was called USA Skate. It was like this big skate, roller skating place and everybody would go there and have birthday parties and all this kind of stuff. And at the very beginning of it, when it like opens, it like, and I drive by there literally like every day. And it's like, you, cause you see it on the interstate. It's not even that anymore. I don't know what it is now. I think it's like an insurance company or something. You wanna come back up here, honey? Did you eat? Was it good? How good was it? It was delicious. <laughs> he said it was so good. I'm licking my lips. Um, did you eat the whole thing? You did? Did you eat the whole thing? <laughs> Should we go look? Should we go look and see if you ate the whole thing? I can't get through because there's too many trailers. Look, Tani has a whole box of these ugh, heat warmers for your hands. Hot one. Hot. Hot hands, hot hands. You ready for a nap now, aren't you, I bet? You like to eat and then nap, and you get real tired. Do you wanna go back there and lay down? You wanna go back and lay down in Aunt Tanya's office? So anyway, yeah, and he was like, at the beginning of the movie, he's having like a birthday party there or something like that. I don't know how I remember that. My, uh, 
Mel, the booktube, the booktube, Mel, the book club, co-founder, lady, friend, <laughs> hey Mel, she just, was. we were texting, and she would text me that Zach Bagans, who you know does like the Ghost Adventures and stuff, he bought Ted Bundy's glasses and has them in his Las Vegas museum. Isn't that creepy? And then somebody sent me this um, email and it was like, um, you are just Mr. Adventurer. Look at you looking all around. What are you looking at, honey? <gasps> There's so many things to see, Dad. He's like looking all around the cabinets and stuff. It's so cute. But anyway, um, so, Somebody sent me this thing that there's like all this paranormal stuff happening at the house that Ted Bundy grew up in in Tacoma, Washington. Is that not scary? That is so scary, isn't it? I don't know how she ever lived here with all the dogs barking. But they did. I don't know how long they lived here though. Did you ever back in the day Put white out on your nails for nail polish. We did, we did that when I was in high school. Yeah. Okay, come on. Honey, I hold you and then you don't want to be held anymore. He said, I think I want to be on the video now. Let me wipe your mouth. Yeah. Who's my best friend? Who's my best friend? He said, well, I am. And you know it too, don't you? What makes a best friend? Well, you always have each other's back. You like to take naps. You just know. It's in your heart and soul, isn't it, PB? We knew right away that we were gonna be best friends. Is he so cute? Tanya said he runs this place. <laughs> Like, he'll, she'll have them up here when people like come in and like pick up their dogs and stuff like that. And she's like, yeah, he always like greets everybody at the door. He runs this place. <gasps> is that one of your friends back there? Who is that? He said, I don't know who that is. I am not bothered by all that. <laughs> Where's Boo and Tucker, honey? Say, they're, oh, they're in another part of the hotel. <laughs> I get my own special treatment. Like, he has like something on his lower mouth. What is that? Is that food? Do you see Tanya moving back there? There's Aunt Tanya. Hi, Aunt Tanya. Do you miss your brothers? He said, I don't miss my brothers very much. <laughs> They're back here just drinking water. Are they drinking a lot They're of water? They're having a party. They're having a party? Oh, Lord. Are you smelling Aunt Tanya's boots? Are you smelling her boots? These boots are made for walking. I just, like that vlog for a second, I just sat there and didn't even say anything. I haven't done that in a long time. Just not talked about anything. How long? <laughs> How long did you, I'm getting my cough back and I don't like it. How long did you, did I bring my phone in here? How long did you live here? Two years. Two years you lived here? Did the dogs ever drive you crazy? Nope. Never like you, it wasn't ever a problem? Nope. He wants up here and then he wants down and then he wants up and then he wants down. Ants in your pants. Do you have ants in your pants? He's so pretty, isn't he? Have you ever seen a more handsome chihuahua, Tanya? Uh -huh. And all of the chihuahuas you've ever seen, have you ever seen a more handsome? Do you want Peepee to come work for you? Tanya, this is the third vlog this week that you've been in. It looks really nice in here. Tanya had her whole kennel painted today. It's bright green in here. Like bright, bright green. You should have them come for every holiday and then they should do something different. Like they could have done red in here or pink. How many dogs do you have right now? 
22. 22? What's the most dogs you've ever had here at one time? 120. 120 dogs all at the same time? I didn't mind them probably here at the same time. All right, you guys, I'm gonna stop this for a second, and... Huh? I'm used to the dogs, like, in the background barking, but I don't know <laughs> everybody else is while they're watching the vlog. She's, like, deep in her head. Like, this is when you can't talk to Tommy. And she's, like, in her head, like, thinking. And I'm, like, looking at her, she's, like... She's like this. <laughs> right? <laughs> She's such a businesswoman. You're a working girl. Like, Aww, I love that movie. I love that movie too. Do you remember? It was so good. Yeah. Do, you know who's, do you know whose dog that is barking in the background, I think? I think that might be Tucker. <laughs> no. Is that not Tucker? No, that's uh... Don't say it last. Huh? Don't say whose dog it is. I'm vlogging. What? That's Henry. Oh. Do they know Henry? <laughs> I thought, because she'll sometimes say to me, like, oh, like, if it's somebody that we know, she'll say it's, like, so-and-so's dog. And I was like. Can you give me a piece of bud? No, I'm not your assistant. <laughs> what do you mean? She's just like the white paper out of the thing. Just one? Yes, please. Secretary. <gasps> oh, my God, you have a Schwann Man calendar. Or calcul oh. I, I brought the Schwann Man thing over here. Here. Okay. Now, have you guys ever seen the Schwan Man? I gotta make sure her address is on here. The Schwan Man. The Schwan Man, do you see? Okay, so I know somebody's gonna, but when we were, I was a little kid, I really wanted to always get stuff from the Schwan Man here. I'll show you what I wanted. So they bring it to your door. It's like this delivery guy. And oh my God, they have so many good things in here. But when I was growing up, they would do cookies and tens. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Do they still do that? I don't know. They have great ones. Um, <gasps> I used to do Home style waffles. They have, I oh my God, ice cream. Big bins of ice cream. Their Big ice tubs of ice cream. Good. Yeah, Creamery Classics right here they have. Pee Pee, what do you want in here? Oh my Lord, Pee Pee. You can't have any since they all got chocolate and it's not good for dogs. That's true that dogs aren't supposed to have chocolate, right? Or is that a wives' tale? No, it's really bad for them. Is it really bad for them? Look at PB. Is it bad for you? Get the mirrors up. PB said, uh, "My dad's per my dad Alex. Do don't feed me anything besides dog food." Yep, that's why my dogs are. They have smoothies in here, Tanya. Yeah. PB, do you want a smoothie? He said, "I think I really do want a smoothie." And they have scones. Look at this stuff, you guys. They have literally everything. And you order it, and they just bring it to your door. 32 slices of bacon for $17.99. That's kind of expensive, isn't it? Bacon's expensive. 15 ounces of mini donuts with a cinnamon sugar packet. Oh, pee pee. Cinnamon French toast sticks. 24 ounces for $9.99. Pecan caramel rolls, $12.99. Our friend of ours, she used to make cinnamon rolls. Do you remember? Oh yeah. She made the best cinnamon rolls in the entire world. And then she would bring them, did she bring them over like in a basket or something, do I remember? Yeah, she made more than ones. Oh my God, they have oatmeal in here, they have quiche in here, real men, real men. What's the saying, real men don't? I've never had quiche. You've never had quiche in an entire, quiche. you know what? I don't even know what's in quiche. It's eggs and like you can have ham or you can have anything. Here's a quiche right here, see? It says pizza, but it looks like it's a quiche, basically. You could just basically do all your grocery shopping through the Schwann Man. I already got a list. I saw that in here. For their fish, because it's all fresh caught. Mac macaroni and cheese. All right, what am I forgetting? <gasps> pee pee, they have cheese quesadillas. We love cheese quesadillas so much, don't we, pee pee? Okay, what else do they have in here? They don't love the vegetarians so much, do they, peeps? He said no. Fried rice, oh, they have vegetable fried rice. We could do that. $5.99 for 16 ounces. Family size macaroni and cheese, look at that. Oh, Tanya's list has fallen on the floor. Here's her list. <laughs> What's Tanya doing, do you see? What 
What's Aunt Tanya doing? Do you see her? What are you doing over there, Aunt Tanya? I'm doing vlogging for more. They have chicken pot pies. Okay, so anyway, in our neighborhood back in the day when I was growing up, everybody ordered from the Schwann man except for us. Because my mom said we don't need that stuff. Because see, we're not a big family like that. It's just you and it's just you and me. Because <laughs> we were the only divorcees in the neighborhood. Uh, actually, divorcee means man, doesn't it? Is a divorce a man or a woman or does it not matter? So anyway, but um, it was just my mom and I and I'd be like, mom, I want that 10 because my friends in the neighborhood, they would all get it. And there were these huge twin, uh, twins, it was these huge tens and it would say on the side of it, it was like brown and it would say Schwann. Do you remember that, Tanya? Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, people, brown and tan. Yeah, brown and tan. And then they would have, like you would open it, it was just completely full of chocolate chip cookies or ice cream. And they would also bring milk, I remember, right? I don't know. Well, they did, I remember. <laughs> you can get asparagus. <gasps> Tom, PB, look, a full pulled pork sandwich. I bet you would really like that. Well, but we don't. Tonight, so. You had pulled pork sandwich tonight? Yep. My niece might have to uh, smoke a pork butt. It's good. A pork butt? What's it called? Would you have me a post-it pen? Gina, Secretary. where is that? Gina, what I don't like? Pork butts. Is that, are those? Okay, I don't love, I, there's a lot of words I don't like and Tanya knows it, okay? Davenport. I don't like the word Davenport. My grandma used to use it and it's a word that means couch, if meat. you don't know. I don't like meat, I don't like meaty. I don't like pee, you know what. Pootie twang. Pootie twang. I don't like that word. My mother did not like that word and I was raised not liking that word. Um, what else don't I like? Juicy. And I don't, panties. I don't like the word panties. Slacks. Slacks is a big one. I hate slacks. Blouse. It's, something like, it's all words that like my grandma used to say to me. <laughs> Peter, could you sell the job before Hand me more blouse. Put yourself up. Uh, blouse and eat some juicy pork. My grandma would say, uh, uh, here, here's a fiver. You can go down to the movie theater. And then my grand, my mom used to always say this too, but I, I don't remember my mom, my grandma saying this. But well, it was actually my other grandma, my dad's mom, that said Davenport. But my mom's mom, she would say, um, she, I don't remember this, but my mom used to say this. She would call pizza pizza, and it would drive my mom crazy. What would she say? She would call pizza pizza, <laughs> and she would call the movie theater movie theater. Oh, that's what my grandma would call. And she'd watch her. My grandma always called it the Tivoli. The Tivoli. Well, that's probably the name of it. But she would, my grandma also would call, you didn't interrupt her while she was watching her stories. Watch her what? Her stories, her soaps. Oh, yeah. You used to tape the soaps. Do you do that anymore? No. She still tapes her soaps. I cannot believe that. My grandmother watched soaps all the time. Something's printing out over here. We're faxing through or something. You hear that, Pee-Pee? We're basically office workers. <laughs> pee, pee we're office workers of the world. Can you ever even imagine needing a paper clip that big, PP? Pee -pee? Look, look, okay. look at this. This paper clip is about as big as PP. PP, pee -pee, you are as big as a paper clip. He said, Dad, can we just move in here? I always have so much fun here. He, so basically, PP during the day, he goes to doggy daycare, and then he runs around here, up here at the office, and he just keeps him busy. Don't you, buddy? You're such a good boy tonight, taking your medicine, and then you had a late night dinner. It was real good, wasn't it? Aunt Tanya made it up real special for you. So yeah, that was the Schwann man when I was growing up. Now tomorrow, your vlog that you're gonna get is gonna be me getting up and being extremely tired because I probably only got about 20, 20 minutes of sleep. Going to LA, going to the airport, and we don't really have any plans for Sunday, so I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow. Um, we get in at 9.45 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. I wish I could take you with me. I love to travel, but I don't like to leave my best friends behind. Look at him, he's so sweet. PB, you only have to now, you saw me tonight. So you only have to do Sunday, Monday. We won't tell them how long we're gonna be on. Not too many sleeps. 
it's a real short trip. But we're gonna have fun. Oh, this is what I was gonna say earlier. I'm, the thing I'm, here, get comfortable, sweetie. The thing I'm most excited about, is this is so silly, you guys. So you know I grew up and I loved um, the Oscars with my mom and I loved, do you want down or do you want up? I loved, I mean I am a movie freak. You guys know I love movies, right? And I grew up watching all the movies and all the old movie stars and stuff like that. And you know, the Oscars were always like a really special time for my mom and I and we watched them every year. And you know, we would always like pick our winners of who we thought and we you know, tried to watch a lot of the movies and stuff. When I was real little, of course, I just stayed up and watched it with her, but I didn't know any of the movies because they were all too adult for me. But, so anyway, I went to, um, went. When, for my 16th birthday, my dad and my stepmom and I, we um, went to San Francisco and then we went to um, uh, the, like the coast up there, like Big Sur, and then we went to Santa Barbara and then we went to LA. We ended the trip in LA. I really don't remember a whole lot of the trip, which is interesting. I do remember my dad told me I could get anything that I wanted, and he was like, okay, for your birthday, he was like, you can get anything that you want. I think the last day that we were there was my birthday, and um, I, I wanted a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses, the, the kind that have the thing on the top of them, and so we went to like some sunglass store there, I don't know where it was. It was in some mall, I remember, and we walked in, and I remember they were playing Lou Reed, and I loved Lou Reed in high school, and I could not believe they were playing Lou Reed in um, the sunglass store. And so my dad was like, well, what do you want now? And I was like, I want these Ray-Bans. And like, like that at that time, like, other than the, like the Risky Business movie, which those aren't the sunglasses I was talking about. I think I still have these sunglasses or I gave them away. I don't know what happened to them, but I would love it if I still have them somewhere. I think like the last time I told this I, uh, story on here, because I've told it on here before, I was like, I think they might be in the basement is what I think I said, I don't know, but I don't know where they are. Um, but anyway, um, so my stepmom, she went and got her hair done at some really fancy place and all this kind of stuff. And um, we stayed at the Beverly Hills Hotel because my dad wanted to give me like the whole like back then, like this is in the, you know, this is like in the 80s. So the whole like movie star experience and all that kind of stuff. And it was really fun. But the one thing is, I don't remember um, seeing the Hollywood sign. Like I don't remember it at all, right? And so, <clears throat> I was telling Mel today on the phone, I was like, I know this is really cheesy and kind of like, I don't know, just, I, I feel sometimes kind of like, oh, uh, I don't know, just kind of simple about the world, if that makes sense. But like the thing I'm really excited about the most is seeing the Hollywood sign. I don't know. And maybe like walking and seeing the stars and stuff like that on that, you know, the, I don't even know what that, the, what the Walk of Fame is called or whatever, but like, I don't remember doing any of those things. My dad and I went to Universal Studio. I do remember doing that. And I got really, really scared when Jaws, we did like the Jaws ride of like, you go through this like little water area. And I remember when it came out, it was so fake looking, but I was still terrified of it. And, um, but yeah, I'm really excited about it. I'm just excited about like the Hollywood stuff of it all, you know? Cause I've never really done any of that. Tanya has this deodorizing pet spray for lasting freshness, and it's called Berry Breeze. Freshening Berry Breeze. Should we smell it, Peepee, and see if we like it? I just took the cap off by accident. Oh, I can't get the cap back on. Peepee, -pee. I think your dad just broke this. there. Ooh, that smells good. It smells very, very fresh. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited about that. <clears throat> I don't know where we're going to go out to dinner or lunch with my friend. Alex really wants to go to Tom Tom from Vanderpump Rules, but I don't really care either way. Are you done back there? I think so. People would like to know what time he needs to be here to start answering phones in the morning. You can sleep in if you want since we're making the late nights for <laughs> Are you going to answer phones in the morning? What are you going to say? Hello, it's Pee Pee. <clears throat> the camera stopped. I didn't even know I was at the end. <laughs> Pee Pee's going to start answering phones. He's going to be, are you going to be a receptionist, Pee Pee, or an assistant? Say dogception. <sighs> a dogceptionist? He loves Tawny. He's just like, look, he's just... 
Oh, she's making big eyes at him. Is that Aunt Tanya? Is she so nice? Is she the nicest aunt in the whole world? Oh yeah. There you go. Look. Aunt oh. <laughs> So he took his pills okay? Yeah, took his pills, ate. Is that, how much of the food did he eat down there? <gasps> he look, it's so good here. Look at that, he ate everything. PP, you ate everything. And he went back outside and did uh, another little potties. <sighs> PP, let my arm take a break for a second. I'm taking that, I'm gonna do an outside check and go with me. Mm. Just in case the coyote gets. Oh. Are you gonna miss me while I'm gone? I don't wanna think about it. I'm gonna miss you while you're gone. What's that song? I'm gonna miss you when you're gone. Who is that? Who is, how do I know that song? I think I have it downloaded. You're gonna, well, there's a country. And you're there's gonna a, miss me. When, who is that? How do I know that song? Oh. What are some of our favorite country songs? Oh, uh, what I used to love, what you, I don't think, you never listen to I don't know, she says cucumber truck or something. I know turnip. she, turnip truck, and I don't need it's Billy Currington song. And I don't remember how it goes. What am I forgetting, Oh, I know. You're mine, you're forgetting your damn mind, Tanya Jean. Ugh. This is why we never had paper clips at my house, because I always like oh, I, yeah. I used to make retainers out of them, okay? Do you remember that back in the day? You would make them and you're like in school, then you go. So basically, this is why I almost didn't graduate from high school, because I was paying, <laughs> because, true story, because I was a pain, smoking club cigarettes with my girlfriends, and I was trying to be a bad, trying to be a badass, uh, I was, but anyway. Paint my fingernails with uh, whiteout and trying to make these things into retainers to put in my mouth. Did you ever do the Even blue? though I wouldn't wear my real retainer. What? Did you ever do the blue where you put it on your hand and then peel it off? No. Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> Excuse me, look. What's this? You ready, PP? What's he gonna do? Watch this. Go get it! He doesn't seem real interested in that, Tony. He doesn't seem real interested in that. Come here. Come here. You want this? Look. Want this? What is that? <gasps> Tucker's the only one that likes toys, Tanya. Come on, please. You're the bathroom with me? Huh? <laughs> Why don't you go to the bathroom with me? Come on. He doesn't want to. She's taking him into the bathroom with her. <laughs> Only my best friend. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> Shut up in there. But um, yeah, I'm excited about that. People have been asking me if I'm gonna do the murder tours on, in LA. I don't know anything about that. Could somebody put something about that in the comment section below? Because I would be real interested in knowing about that. I can tell you who would not be interested about that though is my husband. I don't think he would be real down to do any of that kind of stuff at all. Alex's like level of like wanting to go see touristy stuff is like, is it in a reality show? That's kind of like Alex's interest and stuff like that. Past that, he doesn't really care. So. Um, although he did say he wanted to like go and like hike up into Runyon Canyon one day. <laughs> I was like, okay, we can do that. That's fine. Is that what it's called? Runyon Canyon? Run. Tanya? What's that canyon called in LA? Runyon? Huh? She's not listening to me. So we might do that one day. All right, baby, let's take home. Let's take home. Are you going out to do your check? You're gonna go out with Aunt Tanya. She's gonna do a check outside. You're gonna go with her. Henry, chill. Go with Aunt Tanya. What is that little thing right there? It's a little bit. Let me see. I'm good with the other one. Woo! <laughs> What is this? You want it? You got it. Come here. But you were gonna go outside with Aunt Tanya. Do you wanna go outside with Aunt Tanya? Walk around the whole place? Look at that. 
He said, I don't really care about all that. Look, you can hang it from your nose, Pee-Pee. Pee-Pee, look. Pee-Pee. <laughs> he is not paying attention to me. <gasps> what should we call him? We like to name our friends. What should we name him? Hmm? Sally Joe! We're gonna name her Sally Joe? Okay. Sally Joe the vegetable? Velma the vegetable? What kind of vegetable is it, Tanya? I don't know, I didn't turnip. Whose was it? It was only 99 cents, that's pretty cheap. Mm -hmm. Did you go out there already? No. Probably in the bag. No. You need your, do you need this? I need my handy dandy flashlight. Only the shadow knows. All right. What do you think, Pee Pee? You ready? I'll, I'll sit here and hold down the fort while you and Pee Pee go uh, walk around the kennel. Come on, Pee Pee. Do my sled, though. Tanya made me, used to make me go do that, and I used to always like want to fall on my feet in the ice back then. It's really icy out tonight. He's peeing again. He, I told you he has to also because I'm not a He, uh, is that, what? Has he had a bad moment since he ate? No, I don't think so. Oh, um, like the roads are completely clear. It's so weird. It's like 30, 30, 30 or 31, I think it said when I was on my way over here. It's like completely like the roads are completely like fine. Like there's not even any snow on the roads or whatever. But like in Tanya's driveway and like pulling up here, it was like, you like get out of your car and it's like Phew. But it's just like patchy areas of ice that are really, really bad. Not crazy. Who knew, right? So. All right, I'm starting to get tired and I don't wanna be like cashed out, completely cashed out the whole time tomorrow. Cause I wanna have fun on this trip and be excited about Hollywood. What if I get discovered there? And then they're like, Peter, we would like you to move to LA and be a movie star of the world. And I would like, of course I would wanna have to do that, right? <laughs> I can tell you one thing that will never happen. I will never move to LA, okay? That is not a city that I have any desire to be in, even though I haven't been there since I was 16. I just know that I have no desire to be there. I just am not a big city person. I'm gonna miss you when you're gone. I used to want to be a country singer. Did you guys know that? Have I ever talked about that on here? True story, I did want to be a country singer back in the day. So anyway, so bad that I even have, do you know what I have? I have one of those fishing hooks for my hat. <laughs> I bought a couple years ago, because I thought that was. You could take the, you could take the boy out of the country. How's that song go? Take the girl from the country, I have heard him say, but you cannot take the country from the girl. That's from uh, Smoky Mountain Christmas by Dolly Parton. I love her so much. Jolene, 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 Jolene. Anyway. All right, listen you guys, I'm gonna get off here and I'm gonna go home after I drop Tanya off and I am going to render the video and hopefully get it up. I might, I might not put it up until I'm in LA because if it's too late, I'm gonna be really tired and I don't wanna wait around for it. So, um, and then I'm going to, what time is it right now? Oh, it's 20 until two, so that means, yeah, I could probably be in bed by two and get like three hours of sleep, max. And um, the next time you see me, I will, be in LA. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. I love you and I see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, we're getting ready to leave. The dogs are really acting up since we're getting ready to leave. But I wanted to show you Pee Pee's little spot that he gets to sleep in. Are you ready? Pee Pee, look at your little spot. Right next to the fireplace. Pee Pee has the sweet. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? He gets the sweet. So anyway, all right, you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.